Hi guys, welcome back to another Hover Air X1 Pro Max beta testing video. This time I wanted to do a couple of things. First of all, the weather wasn't too bad last week. It was still quite windy. You can see it on the wind turbine popping up to the left in a minute. But I thought I'll take it up and see how high I can comfortably go without feeling, you know, thinking I might lose it at any point in time. Now, interestingly, when I was reviewing that footage on the manual control control screen I didn't realize this early on but as I was looking at it you can see here at the bottom there's actually an indicator of the height and distance of the drone and that suggests it's about 40 meters height here which is probably about right and uh, then I also wanted to see on the footage because I've got the London skyline in the back if I could zoom in here and if I zoom in four times or 400% this is what it looks like here you can see where this particular bit is coming from so it's simply uh, in the editing software uh, multiplied by four little bit of the skyline here at 400% with Canary Wolf and the shard in the background and then as I go down also what I like about this new manual control screen with the virtual sticks is the ability to combine different movement so in this case I'm combining a throttle down and a yaw to the right and I end up with these slight almost cinematic like circles I'd like this to be a little bit more softer and I shared this with the zero zero robotics team and hopefully they're working on an exponential curve to improve this whole setting a little bit finally uh, you've seen that bridge early on I took the hover air pro max back to that bridge because I wanted to check out how sensitive the sticks are and also whether or not the obstacle avoidance kicks in when I fly through these banisters here and as you can see through the railings first one the obstacle avoidance kicks in and the Pro Max rises up a little bit and do that again second railing as I go through uh, obstacle avoidance kicks in lifts it up a little bit obviously you need to be mindful of that sort of functionality particularly when you fly towards or through obstacles but in theory this is possible and imagine later down the line if there was some capability to use some goggles of some kind and I think the hover team might be working on that then you could do some kind of FPV style flying as well hope you enjoyed that guys manual control with virtual sticks really really great function more to come very soon take care cheers